football of Israel versus Palestine and, and, and relish hating Israel. Again, I don't like how the pro-Israel folks will bully me if I criticize Israel moderately. And I don't like how the pro-Palestinian people will bully me and lie about me and act like a bunch of fools and put out a bunch of disinfo as well. I'm not taking a side and I don't like being conscripted into one of the camps. It's a tragic tribal warfare and I'm sick of it. I want to go to Lab Rat, Michelle, Bill, John, Phyllis and others. Let's go to Lab Rat in New Mexico. You're on the air, Lab Rat. Go ahead. Alex, you are on fire. That was maybe the best introduction I have ever heard, and I've been listening to you for a decade. Good way to go. I want to give a quick message today to uh, of victory with regard to nascent iodine and not just consulting but educating the doctors. I'd like to give a quick message to the Pharisees from a preacher's son, and then I'd like to talk about the weaponization of social sciences and the desperation of the new world order to get a handle on us because they're failing and all of their attempts have failed. Can we get through those things? Real yeah, go ahead, sir. Shakespeare said truth is truth to the end of reckoning. It's in the water. It's in the air. It's in everything we, we eat, drink, breathe. Veritas is truth. To the Pharisees, I say we are called to be in the world, not of the world. We are called to be light and salt. If salt loses its flavor or savor, it's good for nothing, Jesus said, but to be thrown out and trad underfoot. Faith without works is dead. And let's not forget that behind every Melissa, Perry, whatever her name is, is a psychological operations division making talking points for the media right now. It's in our entertainment and it's in our infotainment. Secondly, victory story. I consulted my doctor about nascent iodine because I had a miraculous, what I call miracle experience. Ten days uptake and a damaged brain from an injury became completely whole again. None of my doctors had seen anything like it. I consulted them about nanosilver and about nascent iodine. None of them knew anything about it. I sent them all to InfoWarsLife.com. They all immediately Googled it, went to group, watched the videos. One of my doctors is going to start taking super female vitality and get back to me at my next appointment so we can educate our physicians. She said to me, I am sick of being a pill dispensary for big pharma. That's all I'm allowed to do. I said, well, that's not all you're allowed to do for yourself. Lastly, I was working on something called Claire with a capital A-I. Claire was eventually going to be what Eric Schmidt wanted, and that was a computer in every home where you would simply say, Claire, can you, and then it would find or do whatever you wanted. So it's that like Siri. We, it's like Siri. It's Siri on steroids. And when we realized what it was and DARPA had approached us because of the semantic web conference address and other things, we decided to disband and move our separate ways and go to different things, all of us. They lack the algorithm, Alex. Why do you think they're doing that? FedBizOps.gov looking for game changer private sector investment because they're only successful. What was it? Oh, four out of 11 or four out of 16 scenarios were successfully predicted. And David Knight brought up an interesting thing from a caller yesterday. Maybe they're not trying to predict it. Maybe they're trying to start social unrest. I, that had never occurred. Oh, they to are me, definitely, they're definitely starting it. Uh, but again, so they can trigger it, so they can lead it and control it. Correct. I don't know what the scenario is, but I know that they're desperate to get their hands around every single piece of human information, and I quote, that can be collected. Uh, no, I well, agree. I, I want to shift gears back to the nascent ionine. Specifically, what happened when you started taking it? Was it, was it X2 or the regular survival shield? It was the regular because I'm doing what you're, you suggested. I've been taking it. I stopped. I had a severe, severe injury. I've been given a clean mental bill of health. I've been given everything. I can't give away too much information. Let me tell you, I've been pinged. I got, I got in trouble for my last call. You remember me. Um, and I don't, I'm not working. Now, I remember you called in with a bunch of information about algorithms and things. Very interesting. I, I, they're using entertainment concepts, marketing concepts. The guys that are, and let me just tell you, New Mexico is the biggest victim of dumbing down. You've never seen a collective, and everyone I've dealt with in my scenario who's not from here comments on how they cannot believe the level of what they call stupidity. I have pity on these people for 50 years. The government brought in heroin when the, when the brown 
movement, the Latino movement, was, was mobilizing against what they were doing in their backyards here. They spray here regularly. They've done Oh, I know. It's massive social engineering. We'll be back. Thank you for the call. Friends, this is Alex Jones for MidasResources.com. For more than 15 years, I have exclusively used Midas Resources for all my precious metal needs. Whether it's bullion or collectibles you're looking for, Midas Resources is simply the best. I own my gold as a hedge against inflation. This Federal Reserve fiat currency could go the way of the Deutschmark and the Weimar Republic any time. In these historically dangerous times, it makes sense to physically hold gold and silver. Midas already has some of the best deals in the industry. But if you give them a call and mention the radio special, they will give you a list of the day's super specials. Midas brokers are standing by to answer all your questions at 800-686-2237. They also have a lot of informative free literature explaining the opportunities and risk of holding precious metals. They are ready to answer your questions at 800-686-2237. Again, that's 800-686-2237. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. It seems that everywhere you turn to these days, people are talking about the health benefits of silver. But don't be fooled into believing all silver is the same. Only one silver solution has been clinically shown to be hundreds of times stronger than colloidal or ionic silver. That's supernatural silver. It can be used internally as a powerful immune system enhancer to fight off bacteria and viruses. Supernatural silver can be used topically to treat any type of wound or skin issue. It's even gentle enough to be used on the ears, eyes, and sinuses. And unlike harsh drugs and antibiotics, supernatural silver has no side effects. Available as a liquid or a gel that you can use every day to stay healthy and well. To experience outstanding customer service and to place your order, visit SupernaturalSilver.com. Use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off your entire order. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Only at SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots, make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed-saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American-owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. will take care of us, say MS-13 members. Violent MS-13 gang members recruiting at Arizona facility, LA Times. Amnesty work permits for five million could be ordered within weeks. Visa overstays to be excused. Scott Brown becomes first Senate candidate to run ad on the crisis. National polls show 77% of Americans want illegal sent home. 80 plus percent say it's wrong. There's video of a coyote on jet skis delivering the illegals to the U.S. 
in broad daylight. Jerry Brown kicks off trade mission in Mexico. This is the North American Union. That's some of the news up on DrudgeReport.com. We have breaking news up on Infowars.com, where in the event of hurricanes or emergencies, the illegals will be taken care of first. That's from the federal and state government. In event of emergency, illegals to be evacuated before citizens. Adon Salazar reports. New studies out says mass government spying crushes freedom of the press. Whistleblower, L.A. planning to forcibly house homeless citizens in camps. They're paying Democratic families all over the country $6,000 a month to hold upwards of three illegals per house. This is a, also a giant scam. Uh, we are joined by the chairman and head of Alipac, alipac.us, A-L-I-P-A-C.us. This is a short segment, long segment coming up. They've got some solutions to fight back against this. William Gein is the leader of Americans for Legal Immigration PAC, or Alipac, alipac.com, williamgein.com. And they have been right there getting us the intel that barely defeated the bipartisan bills under Bush and now Obama. But instead, we're seeing the borders drop by fiat. He's up there at Capitol Hill lobbying for national sovereignty every day. So in the short segment, sir, thank you for joining us via video, Skype for TV viewers and radio listeners. But first, give us the big picture because you and, and, and Glenn Spencer and others warned of this collapse plan for a long time. And quite frankly, a lot of people rolled their eyes, including myself. Not that I didn't respect you. I just didn't understand they could be this bold. And if they get away with this, it'd be like a pervert raping children in broad daylight at a school playground and not getting in trouble. I mean, this is really getting crazy. What's happening? If you were ever going to do anything to help your country, this is the time to do it. If we fail at what our mission is between today and this weekend and November 4th, this could become the last ride of the Americans. They're going for broke. You're right out there just doing it. They're in everybody's face. The public is upset. And that's why the plans that I want to talk about with you and your audience there are so important. We have to give people uh, a plan to come out of this thing. Otherwise, when people are faced with this type of situation, they feel powerless. They'll start shutting down. And if Americans shut down on this one, it's over. We've got illegal immigration. It's the top issue in America going right into the 2014 elections. And if we do the right things and we say the right things and we organize well, we can throw more people in D.C. who are responsible for this invasion out of power this year than any prior modern election. I agree with you. The globalists have really miscalculated out of desperation. All the signs, all the political numbers, even mainline pundits say total libertarian Tea Party sweep of Republican blue bloods and Democratic seats and a real reversal. So this is really a desperation move uh, by the globalists to Im implode the borders, bring in the North American Union. That's true. And if they get much further along without us stopping them, it's going to be too late. And people that come in after this election season saying, well, I want to help or I want to do something, we may still be fighting back politically, but we're going to have to tell them that it's too little too late. Right now, in about five days, on Saturday, August 2nd, we're going to kick off a new wave of national protests against illegal immigration in the targeted states of Tennessee, Michigan, and Washington State, of which Tennessee is the most important because that's the last place in America where we have one more Eric Cantor amnesty-supporting type of Republican, Senator Lamar Alexander, to try to throw down. But for the reasons we can discuss later in the broadcast... Alexander must fall. Alexander must fall, and it's going to take a national movement. I repeat, it is going to take a national movement to defeat Lamar Alexander uh, and to elect Joe Carr and the GOP primary that takes place Thursday, August 7th. And we need as many bodies as possible in Tennessee and surrounding states traveling to be with us Saturday, August 2nd, as we protest outside of six locations in Tennessee, outside of Lamar Alexander's uh, district offices, to remind the country and all Tennesseans that Lamar Alexander is the reason we have a border surge. He voted for and passed Senate Bill S-44, which would turn tens of millions of illegals into future voters, competitive workers, and uh, social welfare recipients. Lamar Alexander uh, is holding the cards with a lot more money than us, um, telling big lies with big media. He's got a vote splitter on the ballot. He's going to try to get Democrats to come vote for him, just like we saw down in uh, Mississippi earlier this year. But we've got a real groundswell that was is very similar to what happened with Eric Cantor. And, and Ali Pack, we played a key role in the defeat of Eric no, Cantor. No, I know you did. Let's talk about a strategy to win. And let's look at the enemy strategy here, using these poor immigrants 
Uh, but I think it's going to backfire. We're on the march. The Empire's on the Alley run. Pack.